Ever feel like your smart TV is just uh, too smart? You know, a million apps you never use and it just slows everything down. What if you could just strip all that clutter away, especially for your media, and get something really minimal? Hmm. Okay, let's unpack this. Today we're doing a deep dive into Libre Ely. It's called Adjust Enough OS and it's built purely for media centers. So our mission here is to figure out what makes it different, what it can really do, and yeah, what its limits are. That way you can decide if it's the right fit for your setup at home. Right. I think a core part of Libre Elite, its identity really, is that incredible focus. It's a very lean, purpose-built Linux distribution. It's engineered just to boot straight into Kodi. And that single-minded approach, well, it means you get a fast, smooth media center experience. None of the usual OS overhead, no extra fluff. So that focus is what allows the whole just enough OS thing. Cuts out all the usual bloat, literally. Like no extra apps, no bloatware, just Kodi ready when you turn it on. And what about hardware? How flexible is it? Does being lean make it more adaptable, run on more things? That's a great question. And yeah, it really thrives on versatility. We're talking compatibility with uh, a pretty wide range of hardware. Everything from those tiny Raspberry Pi boards people love for DIY projects, mm -hmm. all the way up to, you know, more powerful by 86 mini PCs. That yeah. broad support really does make it super accessible for almost anyone looking for that kind of dedicated media solution. And I guess that accessibility carries over to actually setting it up. Because sometimes these specialized systems can be a bit tricky, right? Absolutely. No, it really lives up to that accessibility claim. The installation is remarkably straightforward. What's fascinating here is you just grab their USB SD creator tool, flash it onto a card or a drive, plug that into your device, and boom, Kodi starts up usually within seconds. It's designed for simplicity and speed right from the start, cuts out all that frustrating setup time. Yeah, imagine just flip it on the TV and bam, your media library is right there <laughs> instantly. That's really the appeal, isn't it? That super fast boot, the reliable performance. And you mentioned it works even on older gear. That's a huge plus if you want to reuse something you already have. Exactly. Plus it handles its own maintenance, you said, yeah. automatically. And gets regular updates. That's right. Automatic maintenance and consistent monthly updates. That includes the major Curdy upgrades too, like uh, the latest 21.x series. So you get modern codec support, HDR capabilities, all that good stuff. Right, keeping it current. And if we connect this to the bigger picture, it's pretty impressive how much power they pack in. For instance, you get proper 64-bit builds for the Raspberry Pi now. Okay. Which basically means those little computers can handle more data efficiently. You'll notice it in smoother playback, better responsiveness. And for the audio files out there, multi-channel audio pass-through is supported. Ah, important. Yeah, so your surround sound setup gets the signal exactly as intended, really immersive. Under the hood, it's all running on a current Linux kernel, optimized graphics drivers. It's built for smooth performance. Okay, that brings up customization. If it's so minimal, there's just enough OS, where do you even start to personalize it? Does it all just happen inside Kodi itself, like with skins and add-ons, leaving the base system alone? Exactly right. What's insightful here is how Libre Elia handles that. You don't wrestle with system settings. Every tweet, changing the look with skins, adding streaming services via add-ons, it all happens inside Kodi. It keeps that underlying OS super stable and just reinforces that laser focus. Fewer headaches for you, basically. Okay, this all sounds pretty fantastic. Almost too good to be true. But, you know, whenever you simplify tech, there's usually a catch. What are the trade-offs we need to know about? Well, the main trade-off is, as we've said, it's singular focus. Libre Ely is Kodi only. That means no desktop environment, no web browser, no installing other random apps. Right. Pure media. And uh, if you're looking to stream DRM-protected stuff, think Netflix, Prime Video, especially on ARM devices like the Raspberry Pi. That's where you hit a bit of a snag. You need to manually set up Widevine. That's the, uh, the DRM component they use. It's doable, but it's an extra step. Okay. That's a really key thing to remember. Good point. Any other practical tips, maybe for upgrades? Yeah, just a practical one. Always double check your specific device compatibility before you jump to a major new version of Libre Elise. While it's generally solid, sometimes specific hardware has quirks. A quick check online can save you some hassle. And you know, this raises an important question. Who is Libre LEC really for? It's absolutely awesome if what you want is a dedicated, totally hassle-free Kodi box that's super responsive and lightweight. It nails that use case, turns almost anything into a media appliance. Mm -hmm. But if you need anything beyond just Kodi, like other apps, web browsing, maybe some multitasking, then yeah, you should probably look elsewhere, like a full Linux distro that happens to have Kodi, or maybe alternatives like OSMC, which offer a bit more flexibility. Okay, so 
pulling this all together then, what does this all mean? The big takeaway seems to be that Libri Elite really delivers if you want that no-nonsense, fast-loading media center. Yeah. It does one job, and it does it well, really well. It's mm -hmm. kind of a shortcut to that lean, efficient home theater experience, right? Yeah, a yeah. very streamlined setup. Exactly. And that leaves us with maybe a final thought for you, the listener, to consider. How much just enough do you actually need in your digital tools? Where do you personally draw that line between streamlined, single-purpose efficiency and wanting more versatile, multifunctional capability? Something to think about with your own media habits?